Hi everybody, I'm Nancy O'Dell bringing you the ET interview. How does it feel to put this finally on the stage again? Thrilling. It's absolutely thrilling. It's as if we've never seen it. It's as if we never did it and it's been a long road since we invented this, since we wrote it. But now, tonight, right now, it feels like we've never been here. It's a flood of feelings right now. It really isn't. They're all good. Yeah. And you guys have worked on so many projects from film to, you know, your own music. So tell me, why, why did you want to get into musical theater? Where did, where did that inspiration sort of come from? Oh, well, that's, that's how we began. I know it's odd because I've had such a fantastic career in the pop music world, but really in the beginning, before I lucked into making records, this is what I wanted to do. And that's how I met Bruce. And this was our, our goal was to write for the theater. And then Bruce says that annoying song, Mandy Head, and it took ruined away. everything. <laughs> it ruined everything. <laughs> and it took us away from being able to write for the theater, and now we're back doing that. When he told me he got a record deal, I said, doing what? Really? <laughs> <laughs> like any good marriage, and this is a creative marriage, uh, it's built on trust. And we learned early on how to collaborate. And that's interesting because this show is in part about how to collaborate. And it's, a, it's something that's very near and dear to us, and we've managed to do it successfully for 42 years mm -hmm. this May. And we live on uh, uh, both, both sides of the coast. Well, I live in L.A. and Bruce lives in New York, and that's how we stay together for all this time. <laughs> we recommend that. <laughs> yeah, I saw a documentary at, um, in a little theater in New York City uh, based on a review I read in the New York Times. And it was four hours of German documentary making with subtitles, not my <laughs> usual you know, idea of how to spend a Tuesday night. But uh, it was amazing, and in part, I was amazed because I didn't know anything about it. And what I soon realized was why I didn't know anything about it is the story. And it was remarkable. And I called Barry from a payphone. Remember payphones? <laughs> and uh, I blathered, and somewhere in there I said, I think I found it, the musical we've been looking for. And he took the collaborative leap of faith and said, go get it. And you know, uh, this, this group, the Comedian Harmonists, well, they were the architects of the kind of vocal group singing that we all love today. They were the Beatles, they were the Backstreet Boys of Germany in the 20s and 30s. But we just believed in it, you know, and it was like it wouldn't leave us alone. Mm -hmm. We did, we put it in the drawer for a while and just said, okay, well, then I just woke up, I said, I just wanna see it one more time before I croak. Let's just try it one more time, and, and, and we did it. We feel it's something of a mission now to tell this story, above and beyond the show and everything else. These six guys took hold of us, and we kind of feel they're pushing us to, uh, to get this thing onto the stage. And you know, this wonderful cast have, have really turned into this guy, these, this group. They love each other. They have become brothers. You could see it on the stage. These were strangers. They hardly know each other when we began. And now you can see they are brothers. It's a very, very emotional mm. uh, experience. I think it was meant to be that Barry and I would have the most, most um, rewarding creative journey of our careers with this project. This just so speaks to us, both of us, equally. And, and everything that it's about is something that we care deeply about. It's probably the deepest and most emotional uh, experience I've ever had. And I've had a lot of success and failures and all, but this one is so deep that uh, I, I just will never forget tonight. I will never forget tonight that we actually got it up <laughs> on a stage in a place like Los Angeles, and it, and it's a beautiful show.